I do. In this tutorial, we are going to see how to convert your Instagram Reels into stylized animation using AI Disco Diffusion effect. Link for the collab file is in the description. Once you open the collab file, first step is to go to file and select save a copy in drive. Then close the whole tab. Now click here, then upload your Instagram Reel. Make sure that your video has this resolution. If you are going with horizontal video, then maximum resolution is 1280 by 720 or below. If you are going with vertical video, then your maximum resolution is 720 by 1280. HD resolution is not supported as we get some GPU memory exit errors. There are lots of settings you should change to get this kind of look. In setup, check all the checkboxes. Now come to diffusion and clip model settings and this is default. Don't change anything here. Now in settings, set steps to 333, width height is your video resolution. Make sure you type exact resolution. Set clip guidance scale to 50,000 TV scale to 500 Range scale to 195 Saturation scale to 101111 And set batches to 1 Initial scale to 15,000 And skip steps to 300 Now in animation settings Change mode to input video Now copy paste the video path here Set frame scale to 5000. In extra settings, under advanced settings, set ETA to 0.3 and clamp max to 0.3. Now this is your prompt. Whatever you type here, the final video is generated based on these keywords. Like I am using these keywords. We can try with various other keywords to get the different results. This step is same as using Mid Journey Bot to generate AI images. Now go to Runtime and select Run All. It will ask to connect to Google Drive. Make sure that you are. Make sure that you have at least some 6 GB space in your drive. It will run all the steps. It will take time depending on your PC configuration. Mine took around 1 hour. Once it's done, open your drive, open this AI folder, open Disco Diffusion. Open images out, open time to disco and here you will find all your PNG sequence and a video. You can use video or PNG sequence. I am using PNG sequence. Select all the images and download and extract them. Now open After Effects and import your original video. Now drag it over the composition box to create a new composition. Now import the PNG sequence. Once you unzip the folder, there will be a folder with this name. Just select one image and check this PNG sequence. Then click on import. Now drag this to the timeline. 
but the length of the video is not the same. Just right click on it and go to time, time stretch and make it exact same length as your original video. Then hide this. Now for the transition effect, when he hits on the head, the transition should happen. Take the cursor to that particular frame and create a new solid layer. Trim the layer and hide this. Now select the ellipse tool and draw small mask here. Now unhide this and change track mat to alpha mat. Now open mask and add keyframe on mask path. Go few frames and make the mask path to cover entire video. And easy is the keyframes. Now we will have this kind of transition. If your video is not matching to the composition, just increase the scale size. Now duplicate the solid, then unhide it. Apply saber effect. You can use any preset. I am using Energize preset. Change composition settings to transparent. Open customize core. Change core type to layer mask. Now we have this cool transition effect. You can use this transition wherever you want according to your video. Make sure to like this video and please subscribe to my channel for more amazing tutorials.